this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Today we're in the basement of the Aris Dome to get some more secret treasure! Because, as we all know, the best time to do side quests and find all the best treasure in the game is in the, when the world is in terrible peril. And when a meteor is hanging out in the sky, or something or other like that. Okay, we get a Lumen Robe! Yay! Probably short for Luminous Robe. And some other treasure that I'm probably not going to use. Um, I'll give that Lumen Robe to uh, Isla there because I'm going to be using her soon. So, that's everything I wanted to do in the Aris Dome. Uh, there were some people who, like, made a plant or whatever, and it's like, they're all so happy about it. And it's like, well, congratulations, you made one plant. You know, but... Okay, so let's, uh... We're, we've gotten all the secret treasure now, so there's only one thing to do now. And that is to revisit the Keeper's Dome and Belthazar! The eulogy? What? The old man didn't die, did he? Hey! Hey! Answer me! You're 65 million years old! You're not, don't break it down on me now! Oh man. Stupid new. Well, let's open this final door of destiny. What are these sparkles of light here? Oh, he's speaking to us from his memory, I guess. Oh, so he did live in Zeal once before. Okay, and was thrown into this time period somehow. This is where the game starts to get more serious and epic at the same time. So, I mean, it's kind of like two halves, or two sides of a coin, you know? The first half of the game, I mean, granted it has its serious moments, but, you know, it was sillier and charming. Whereas now you have, you know, the, um, epic battles coming up, the storyline's really starting to uh, take precedence and everything. And, I mean, I, I like both parts of the game, to be honest. I mean, I... I the silliness is more fun, but you also want to have, you know, the music and everything, and it's just great. So, now we get the Wings of Time from Balthazar. Now, just a fair warning before I open this door, viewers, you may want to turn down your speakers a little bit, because these are exciting times. Let's just put it that way. And it's a giant egg thing. What the hell is that? This thing doesn't have wings. How's this thing supposed to help me out? Hey, uh, Balthazar! Oh, okay. Oh, it's the new. And it's some chairs. It must be the cockpit for the thing. Okay. What? It's me, Balthazar! Are you ready for a blast to the past? yee And we press the Y button to use the time gauge and L and R buttons to select an era. So you can basically go from one time period to another at any point now with the time machine here. So, yay! And that includes 12,000 BC, even though the gates were sealed. Or, well, there's only one gate that goes there, so... Okay, so let's hop on in. So, how fast do we need to go to go back in time? I mean, speed of light fast enough? No, 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 light speed is too slow. Light speed too slow? Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> oh, okay, well then, let's do it. Okay, let's head back to 12,000 BC. Ludicrous speed, go! Ow, that must hurt. Oh yeah, we're only in fire on the way back through time. Okay, now it's too cold. Now it's too cold. Okay, well let's check it out. Okay, well the gate's still sealed. Eh, just seeing if it says anything. And uh, the skyways have been sealed by Scala there. Um, I guess the prophet made her do it or something. I forget whether they explained that at some point in time or not, but... 
I want to head back here. I still have some more questions about that time machine of yours. You can also take it to the end of time and uh, 1999 AD if you wish to still have a quick and painless death. But now we can get a magic tab since we got the epoch. Getting the epoch triggers uh, your, the ability to get some more items. Including another one back in 1000 AD. So let's head back there. And see how my kitties are doing on food, too. I mean, surely they must be hungry by now. There we go. Come on, where's the fire? What happened? I love the cool fire. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on here. I wonder why my kitties aren't eating their food. I mean, I guess it's keeping them loyal, you know, but, you know. Are, are they, you know, worried that other cats are invading their territory or something? Okay, well now we can get another item for Luca. The Tabon Suit. She's going to be holding on to that for a long, long, long time. In fact, I might just keep that on her for the rest of the game. I, I'd have to think about it a little more, but it increases her speed by three. Excellent defense. Uh, well, for her, that is. So, and it helps protect against fire attacks, so it's great there. So, that's all the Tabon equipment we can get from him for the rest of the game. So, uh, yeah, that's everything I wanted to do here. So, now let's head back to 12,000 BC then. Okay, we're back. 12,000 BC, and I've got Chrono, uh, Robo, and Isla in my party now. So, oh, let me show you where this is. The Terra Cave. There you are. And now this ladder is here. It, that would not have been here if we came here earlier in the game, but now we can for some reason. So, let's check out this place. This is Al... Al... Whatever it is. The Village of the Earthbound Ones. And, oh, they lack magical powers, so they were banished to be slaves forever! And, oh, well, yeah, they're building an ocean palace now. Okay, fair enough. Now we can get some better weapons. The stuff that we could have gotten back at the, uh, oh, what was that place? Medina Village. And equip all that stuff on them. I'll sell the other stuff later, but... Yeah, I wouldn't buy any of the other equipment because your armor is better or you're going to get better armor soon. And what else is there? Oh yeah, and we're also going to get new weapons shortly too. So, And the Guru of Life opposed her from draining Lavos' energy because, I don't know, maybe it was too dangerous or something. Yanis has stronger powers than Scala. Oh man. Yanis is behind everything. No, no, <laughs> it's Alphador! He's the one responsible for the world in such peril. No. And, uh, she doesn't look like the playing type. I mean, I, I, I don't know, maybe she's not quite so evil, but... Oh, well, maybe Skyla's a nice person after all. Let's see what's on down here. Beast's Nest is dangerous. Well, let me guess, that's where we gotta go next. And uh, there's a free resting place here, but we obviously don't need it. That's what you talk to the man there, and he'll uh, let you do that. And oh, the Guru of Life is their hero! Oh, maybe we give him a hero medal or something. No. And he was banished to Mount Woe, and this leads to the beastness. And wait, what, what did he say there? I missed that last part there. Ah! Oh, okay, so reach the place of change, which anchors the mount anchors a mountain? I don't think you need that much help anchoring a mountain. Okay, and we get a power tab, and there's gonna be some nasty fights up ahead here, so I'm just gonna stop here, and that's all for this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Next time we'll go through the beast nest, get up to Mount Well and try to free the guru of life, Melchior. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.